What's up all you buds? Thanks for stopping by and watching another episode of Terpene Tuesday. So this week we are going to be talking about the Terpene Linalool. Linalool. <laughs> if you guys have watched some of my other videos and liked them, it would mean so much to me if you guys subscribed down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Anyways, let's jump into it. We're going to be discussing the terpene linalool. Linalool is a terpene that is produced in over 200 plants across the world. Linalool is going to be in a lot of plants that you consume on a daily basis. So actually few cannabis strains contain high levels of linalool. Rarely is in the top three terpenes. So linalool is a very abundant terpene found in nature and everywhere. It's not very abundant in cannabis as far as being high at levels, but it is in cannabis. If that makes sense. Linalool also has one of the most powerful sedative effects in all of the known terpene and it is also known in cannabis to enhance the effects of CBD. What does linalool smell like? Most widely known linalool smells a lot like lavender. It also is going to have a very sweet like candy smell. It's got a citrusy smell as well as spice, a little bit of spiciness and floral. A lot of people say it smells like birch bark. I'm not really sure what birch bark is, but if you do, then you know, you know. <laughs> Some plants that have high levels of linalool are gonna be like lavender, which we already discussed is like the main one that everyone thinks about. Mint, cinnamon, and rosewood. The effects of linalool are gonna be, can help promote relaxation, has a calming effect, so it can help reduce anxiety. It can also help relieve depression and pain relief. This one's really cool. It can uh, help support and strengthen the immune system. I mean, if that is true, which there has been studies done about that, I think that is insanely awesome. Lastly, it can help prevent seizures. Currently, I have a significant other who has suffered from seizures um, in the past. He's not had one in a very long time. He does take medication daily for it but he also does use cannabis. But I also do think that cannabis plays a huge role. And you know, you've heard of probably Charlotte's Web, very sad, recently passed away because of coronavirus. She has made a huge impact in the cannabis community. There's a little girl that had multiple seizures a day. Long story short, they created a product, tincture that they called um, Charlotte's Web. Her seizures significantly reduced. Amazing story. So if you haven't heard of Charlotte's Web, I would definitely look up her story. It's just amazing. So, little old. Some of the strains that it can be found in, and like I said, it's not going to be um, one of the highest terpenes found. And some of these strains are going to be the ones that are, it's maybe like the top five terpenes found in these strains. Strains that it can be found in is like do si -Do, Kosher Kush, and Skittles. I want to say. Guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you guys haven't already, go check out some of my other Terpene Tuesday videos. We'll link in the description below. Go check out Leafly. Great website. You can learn so much from them. They provide so much useful information, which you can check out their website. I always link it in my videos. Follow me on Instagram at beyondthebuds with an S. I will see you guys on the next video. See you next time.